It's the big one here at Down Royal. It's a JM Wine champion chase. All Lang Syne for Ryan Tamasebi. Not favourite today. Beat your wings, Leon Van Rensburg. Canoe and Sauvage for Davy Ladd. Forza Juve, Ryan Tamasebi. Lord's Kingdom, Jim Murray. Rhea Coronas, Alex Cherry. Ulder Cool, Graham Clutterbuck. Yorkshire Scent, Craig Allen. Al Jafia, Martin Leadham. Lost on the Ways, your favourite, Joshua Sutherland. Murder on My Mind, Ryan Costello. We've got Resentful Sadie for James Shea. Up on the catwalk and beat your wings of the Leon Van Rensburg runner. And apparent, apologies, I've missed the last runner there as the race car disappeared. But awkward jump there at the first fence from an ultra cool. And what a fascinating grade one in store here. As all Lang Syne, so impressive in week one. And then uh, gallant effort when finishing runner up in the Charlie Hall chase is diverted away from the big French race to come here to Down Royal to try and take this big prize. Oh, lost on the way, has gone. Lost on the way for Joshua Sutherland's gone there. Unbeaten in two starts to begin the season. Sent off the favourite here and fancied to overturn all Lang Syne and the Leon Van Rensburg runners, but has gone and departed early doors. What a shock here at Down Royal. And all Lang Syne, I have to say, only ever runs uh, from the back as a holder horse uh, in the trials at home. But so far in the first two weeks, it's set the pace and ran from the fr front to great effect. And, the jockey's going to try and do the same again here at Down Royal in this JM Wine Champion Chase. Uh, really peculiar, but certainly can't complain about the results so far. So it's all Lang Syne in the lead by a good three to four lengths from Jim Murray's Lord's Kingdom. Ultra cool Yorkshire scent and rear Coronas all running alongside that one in a share of third. Forza Juve racing out right wide. That's my uh, second string today. Al Jafir's running alongside that one, alongside the loose horse of Joshua Sutherland's. Oh, one of the Leon Van Rensburg runners has made an awful mistake. It's beat your wings at the rear of the field. Made an awful mistake, and the jockey did well to stay on board. Up on the catwalk, Leon's other runner, perhaps more fancy today after finishing runner-up in the first two weeks, is racing nearest to the uh, camera angle here and put in a really good leap there to make some progress. Uh, just in uh, off the pace here and that one will be looking to go one uh, better this week than it has done on its first two starts and with lost on the way out of the way it's certainly got every chance to do so today so we've got 15 and a half furlongs left to travel and still a good 12 or so fences left to jump here testing is already oh there was a slow jump up front there and we've uh, from all Lang Syne and we've lost another one Jim Murray's horse Lord's Kingdom is gone so a lot of these horses struggling with the fences today as I was just about to say ultra cool didn't make it put a particularly good jump I don't think at that last fence either and it's almost gone there ultra cool's made another awful mistake as they come past the stands and that one's been relegated towards the rear of the field and I don't think beat your wings is jumping and traveling too well at the moment either so fascinating race unfolding here as lots of these horses made some errors the jockey on all Lang Syne just takes a little peek over the left shoulder wants to see how much of a lead it's built up the answer is around three or four lengths as it jumps that one pretty well Al Yafir and Yorkshire Send have put in some smooth jumps so far Forza Juve racing over towards the far side if they come over the next fence slow jump there towards the rear of the field by Forza Juve and that one's just dropped back to join uh, Cano and Sauvage just ahead of Beat Your Wings towards the rear of the field and Resentful Sadie and Murder on My Mind might be getting a bit outclassed in this race so far as they're way off this lead that so far has been set by All Lang Syne still and a really good jump from that horse at the front just helped it press on and extend its lead as it got to the other side Yorkshire sent in second place Rear Corona still travelling towards the rail uh, taking a shortcut the whole way around here as they come over the next fence up on the catwalk got a little bit high not a particularly great jump from Whitstar Mayhem towards the rear of the field and beat your wings is still just trying to steadily oh my goodness all Lang Syne plowed through that fence at the front and oh almost went down the jockey has done remarkably well to stay on the horse and it got in a little bit close to that fence but the horse maybe got the jockey out of trouble this time but Al Yafir, that's put in much better uh, round of jumping so far, has been able to jump into the lead and go and join all Lang Syne as they come over the next. Not a particularly good jump from Yorkshire Scent, and that allowed up on the catwalk to move past that one into third place. I must say it wasn't a serious mistake from Yorkshire Scent, though. It just didn't get over it too quickly, a bit too much airtime. 
uh, Resentful Sadie. I've maybe wrote that one off a little bit too soon as it's come from absolutely nowhere and is now in a share of fifth place alongside Whitstar Mayhem. Ultra cool, that hasn't been too fluent at a number of fences. Cano and Sauvage over on that far side. Joggy already getting to work on Forza Juve, uh, maybe being a bit outpaced or a bit outclassed. Uh, one of the two. Rhea Coronas is also being ridden along. A few of these towards the rear of the field are really being ridden along and up front all Lang Syne. The jockey's getting to work and is really trying to put these under pressure but what kind of toll is that early mistake going to take on this horse as it tries to gallop them into the ground again like it did in week one over in the States as they go across this under undulating part of the track here at Down Royal. It's all Lang Syne. The jumping has been much better since recovering from that mistake. The same can't be said for Yorkshire Scent who put in an awful mistake there. Three and a half furlongs left to go and they are really strong out now. It's got to be way over 20, 30 lengths from front to back at the moment as all Lang Syne comes to the next. Three furlongs out. Good jump from it. It's opened up a good six or seven length gap again over Al Yafir. Jockey harder work on up on the catwalk trying to eat into this lead. It's not the kind of horse you want to give a soft lead to as we go into the final two furlongs. All Lang Syne, the jockey's back on the bridle. One and a half furlongs. Nothing's going to catch this. Surely up on the catwalk is the one that's in pursuit. Oh! All Lang Syne, I thought it had taken off a bit too early, but it landed okay. Into the final furlong, it's all Lang Syne. Ten length lead, surely. The jockey look over the right shoulder and it seems to be easing down, but here comes up on the catwalk. Got a bit too high at it, but as they come to the stands, all Lang Syne stole the march on them and nothing could get close. Celebration from the jockey. Takes the JM Wine Champion Chase Grade 1 here at Down Royal. A shade cosily, given the mistake it made early on. It's won very comfortably indeed, easing down, couple of length win over up on the catwalk, has to settle uh, for runner-up spot for a third week in a row for Leon Van Rensburg. Yorkshire sent third for Craig Allen. Resentful Sadie ran a really good race for James Shane fourth and Forza Juve stayed on my second string to finish fifth. Fascinating race here.